Hey guys, it's another homeschool mom video, and today I'm actually going to be reading a story. Um, the kids read this story for school, and they did a little project, um, and I want to share the story with you guys. So today I'm reading Clifford and the Stormy Day Rescue. Clifford is such a classic character. I think we all grew up with him. Um, so this is such a cute, cute book. And I'm going to start. Clifford and the Stormy Day Rescue. One day, Clifford found a very big bone. I will bury it, Clifford said. Cleo and T-Bone helped him find a good spot. Not far away, Samuel was serving lunch. It looks like... It looks as if we might get a storm, he said. Just then, sand began to fly. I asked for a fish sandwich, said Victor. Not a sand sandwich. I wonder why sand is flying. Samuel looked down. He saw Clifford digging. You are getting sand in the food, said Samuel. Clifford was sorry. Please go dig somewhere else said Samuel. Meanwhile, the storm grew closer. At the school, Miss Carrington's class was worried. Remember when the last storm flooded the library, Jetta said? Maybe it will happen again. Maybe the wind will blow things around, said Charlie. Like that. The class looked outside. Dirt was flying everywhere. Clifford, called Emily Elizabeth. You can't dig a hole here, said Emily Elizabeth. We are having a class. Clifford hung his head. Emily Elizabeth patted Clifford's nose. You had better go home now, she said. Next door, Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman worked in their garden. Clifford began to dig. Dirt flew into the Bleakman's yard. Poor Clifford was told to dig somewhere else again. The storm was moving closer. Everyone met at the library. They began to build a wall of dirt. It would keep the waves out during the storm. We have to make the wall very high, said Mr. Howard. That's a lot of digging, said Charlie. I know the best digger around, cried Emily Elizabeth. Clifford! Dig, boy, Emily Elizabeth said, but Clifford would not dig. Clifford just sat. Emily Elizabeth understood. All digging isn't bad, she said. It's just that there are right time and places for it. Before long, the wall was built. Clifford saved the library. Later on, Everyone gave Clifford bones for his hard work. I'll help you bury them, Emily Elizabeth said. Somewhere perfect, just like you. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. Um, and I hope you guys always learn and explore every single day. Bye.